What's up team? Fullest. This is your girl Amy. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to Go my canal. First of all, uh, first of all, I have to apologize for some of for, for some of you guys who prefer the talk through video. I have to do a voiceover just because the kids in the house is noisy and I'm just tired of telling the kids to keep quiet. So we're just gonna do a voiceover. Hopefully the next video I'm able to do a talk through video, but I hope you guys wouldn't mind. I will definitely explain to you guys what I'm doing. It's a very, very simple makeup look. You guys can see I'm loving this color. This little eyeshadow seems to have some really beautiful color. This color is so pigment. I can't wait to try more of the other shade. I haven't used a lot in this palette. I've only used the blue, and today I'll use this one and this one and the brown one. Oh. I've only used the blue I've used this the blue and today I use one two three so I have some few more shade in this palette that I haven't tried yet so I can't wait to come back and play with this palette with you guys and I really love how this look turned out it looks really beautiful it's really really nice um, I love the color so that's why I decided to go with a nude glossy lipstick um guys i don't know if i'm the only one feeling myself but i feel like glossy lipstick really bring out the beauty of my lips tell me if i'm if i'm not wrong if i'm wrong but i feel like that but anyway i hope you guys will like this video if you guys do please don't forget to like comment subscribe and share don't forget to follow me on my instagram my facebook like page all the links will be down in the description box i will leave all the products i use in the description box fingers crossed i'll leave everything yeah so let's jump into the video so I hope you guys wouldn't mind for this voiceover. I'm really sorry, but I have to do voiceover because the kids were making noise. So I'm going to use this two eyeshadow palette. I've already primed my eyes and done my eyebrow. I use my um, Makeup Revolution Cut Crease, Cut Crease Canvas um, to do my eye um, to prime my eyes, and I use my Ellie Girl Brow Kit. You guys know that's my favorite. So I'm going to take this um, AliExpress. Um, eyeshadow palette the bronze palette I'm gonna use that dark um, brown to like transition just because this um, other uh, this other eyeshadow do not have like a really um, nice color for me to transition with the, it do have some dark shade but I didn't feel like um, that brown was a little bit too light it was a little bit too dark for me to use it to transition so that's the reason why I use this eyeshadow palette from this eyeshadow from these other palettes if I'm correct um, so I'm just gonna blend that into the eyes I really love this um, palette I love the shadows in this palette they are very very pigment I'm just gonna blend that make sure you blend your eyeshadows very smoothly that is actually the key to get a really nice um, like a nice sharp eyeshadow so now I'm gonna use this like a orangey orange reddish kind of shade i'm going to use it from this palette i'm going to put it in the crease um just a little bit on top of where i put that brown but i'm not going to blend this all the way upwards to my crease i'm just going to leave it there in the center and make sure i blend that out very smoothly i'm using the the brushes i'm using i'm using the real technique uh, makeup brushes and also some of the brushes i pick up from the aliexpress so these are both two makeup brushes i'm using real technique and aliexpress makeup brushes but i don't think the brush is just the the thing it's just that you have to blend maybe if you have more expensive more good brush maybe it would take easy to blend but i feel like it doesn't matter the brush you use you just have to blend very nice so i'm just going in again with that first brush i used to transition with no sh with no um eyeshadow i'm just going to use that brush to blend it and now i'm going to take this dark brown from this um the bronze palette i'm gonna put it in the outer corner just to darken it i really love this dark this um palette to be honest it's like my everyday palette whenever i want to do makeup look every day i don't really have time i go for this palette i'm taking that dark brown and i'm putting it in the outer corner and i'm trying to bring it inwards a little bit but i'm trying to blend it um underneath my brow bone i don't want it to go all the way up because I want to still see that light um, brown that I use and that's orangey reddish kind of eyeshadow I use so I'm just gonna blend that very very smoothly and now after I'm done blending I'm gonna take my 
NYX um, eyeshadow, glitter eyeshadow primer. I'm just going to use that because I want the, the shadows to really stand out. So I'm using this glitter eye primer. I'm going to dab it all over my eyes. And then I'm going to try this beautiful shade. I'm going to first use my finger. You guys can see how pigment and beautiful the eyeshadow look like. It is super, super beautiful. So I'm just going to use my finger. And then later on, I'm going to take a brush. I'm going to blend it to smooth in the, sh the outer corner and the line. Um, but it is really pigment. I can't wait to come and play with this eyeshadow once more again because... I didn't I didn't know that this eyeshadow was this pigment it is super super pigment and I really really like it so now I'm just gonna take my Aliexpress Aliexpress makeup brush and I'm just gonna blend this I'm gonna blend it into the eyes I'm gonna blend it really really nice just blend it small very smoothly I'm trying to get the outer corner like you know to make sure it blends smoothly into the other shade and now I'm just gonna take this dark brown um, from this eyeshadow palette this um um brown is really really dark i'm just gonna take that to darken the outer corner a little bit more and then blend that one inside and make sure i blend it and so that it blends with the shimmery eyeshadow a little bit to give it like a smooth transition between the darker outer corner and the shimmery so that's what i'm doing but you really really have to blend the key is blending the key is blending you really really have to blend very very smoothly but so far so good i really like the way the eyeshadow is turning out it's looking really nice i'm looking for something i'm looking for my eyeliner um sometimes i just put somewhere you have so much makeup in front of you that you really can't <laughs> you really can't um know where you put things i'm like where is this eyeliner i'm just looking around excuse me guys but this is what happens sometimes i'm just looking around and i can't really find stuff i think finally i found it now or i take a new one i can't remember because i was just tired of looking i'm just tired of looking sometimes yeah i think i found it now i found the eyeliner and now i'm just going to use this to um, line my eyes because i'm not going to use false lashes i feel like if i use false lashes after you after lining the eyes it's just going to take the beauty from the makeup there's some days where i want to have false lashes and make my makeup look really really nice really good but i feel like in this look it is better it is so good you guys can see how the eyeshadow is and i don't have false lashes i just line my eyes and put mascara on my own natural lashes and i feel like it looks perfect i'm going to take this maybelline um baby um uh, face primer i'm going to use the primer face it's really around my nose around my mouth like there my forehead i don't really do because you guys know i always use the makeup revelation oil control setting spray before ever i do my makeup and i'm going to use this jeffree star liquid illuminator guys i have to tell you this liquid illuminator is beautiful it's so nice it's so good i'm really happy i picked this up um it is such a beautiful liquid illuminator and i really really like it you guys know i'm obsessed with liquid liquid illuminator i love liquid illuminator and this makes your skin look really nice it have this like a sparkling thing when you look at my face in real life maybe in camera you it can't pick it up but it's so beautiful so after i've done that i'm gonna use actually today i'm going to use the makeup revolution concealer in f15 i don't know for no in no in c15 and this concealer is one of the concealer that really matches and match my skin like it really match my neck as a foundation is really nice even the foundation that i have for this concealer line doesn't really match my skin as perfect as the concealer do so before i used to use it a lot but sometimes you just take a break for, from things and just try new things but i'm back using this concealer as a foundation and it looks beautiful you guys see i'm just, just going to show you guys like the face where i have known is so beautiful i'm just going to blend that into my skin blend it really smooth you guys can see how beautiful um this concealer look i'm back i'm back with using this concealer i have like so many i bought a lot of this concealer just because when i tried it and i felt like it matches my skin i bought, i went and buy like few other so now i'm gonna take this makeup revolution um concealer again but this one is the c14.7 
um it's a little bit lighter than the f15 and i really like how this concealer look i'm just gonna use this to highlight you guys know i don't really like to go for like a really bright highlighter just because i feel like i want the makeup look the attention to be on the eyes and on the lips so i don't want to have like a really super super brown um super super bright on the eyes and i also have liquid eliminator so you guys are going to see what i'm talking about in the end about this liquid eliminator how it makes the skin looks very beautiful makeup the makeup looks very beautiful so i don't want to have that super bright on the eyes i'm going to use my um setting powder that i mix this is a mixture of the makeup revolution setting powder um this is the dark the very dark one and the medium um banana powder I mix them together just to get myself just to get myself a perfect um everyday on the eye setting powder so this is what this one is um i really really like it and i feel like though um it's dark the concealer is dark and the setting powder is dark but you guys can see that my under eye still looks bright it doesn't look like i'm sleeping it still looks like i'm awake my under eye still look beautiful now i'm gonna take that dark shade from the aliexpress um eyeshadow palette from the bronze palette i'm gonna do my under eyes you guys know my under eyes is a struggle i'm always crying whenever i touch my under eyes it's a struggle but yeah we're doing it so i'm gonna take that shadow i'm just gonna like blend my under eyes just to darken my under eyes a little bit and then i'm going to take that shadow that i put on my eyelid i'm gonna take a little bit i'm gonna put it also on on um underneath my eyes just to make sure to give my under eye a little bit of color a little bit of pop and and i really love the way it turned out it turned out beautiful it turned out really really beautiful so now we've done that the under eyes now i'm going to what am i going to do yeah i'm going to set my face i'm going to use my makeup um my black opera setting powder this is the black opera loose setting powder before i used to use this a lot but somehow i just put it down for a while try different things now i am back to it again so yeah guys this is all about makeup you just try we just use what you have you can't finish your makeup the ones you have so you don't need to be going around and buying different 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 makeup and you know if you don't have the money just work with what you have trust me you can do so many great things with what you have now stressing yourself about the things that you don't have so for me that is what that is that is my thing when i do makeup i'm like i want to try all the new makeup but i don't have the cash sometimes to buy all the new makeup i just try to work with what i have i believe that you guys that watch me also don't have money to buy all the new makeup that comes out but you also would just want to find a way to work with the makeup you have because sometimes there's there's other things who are more important than makeup you know so yeah um after doing that i'm going to contour you guys know you guys see my elegant contour powder you guys know that's the contour powder that's my favorite that's my ride and die like yo we, we both going together we just not going nowhere there's no exchange for that contour powder i don't like to do cream contour so this is like my go-to so now we're just going to like contour that cheekbone just to slick it out a little bit and then i'm going to use blush this is a blush from slick this like it's not like a super super bright blush it's a little bit, little bit on the darker side you guys know i'm not really into blush but i really like this um blush and i really want to have some a little bit of color on my face okay if i can say that so i'm not really a blush person but i feel like in this look it's necessary to give my cheekbones a little bit of a color to make my cheek a little bit you know just give a color and now we're gonna wipe all that excess powder off and now you guys can see the cheekbone is snatch we're gonna snatch that cheekbone now it's time to do the lip yo when i told you guys liquid lipstick just bring out the beauty of my lips i'm not joking i'm serious you know and just just wait just watch 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 till the end you guys see what i'm talking about like this i'm gonna get um two more of this kiko lip liner i'm gonna get it in case they try to run out I'm, go I'm going to the city this weekend with the kids we're going to do some winter shopping clothes for the kids so i'm going to get some of this i uh, this lip liner i need this lip liner in my life like this lip liner can go with so many so many lipstick and with this makeup revolution lipstick that i picked up guys i tell you guys like yo 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 wait till you see the result like it's beautiful man 
like i'm blessed uh, god just blessed me with a perfect lip so now we're going to use the makeup revelation lip lip gloss and this is such a beautiful color guys the color is beautiful it's amazing guys like yo i have i think i have the perfect i have the perfect lip lip for lip gloss tell me if i'm if i'm if i'm if i'm wrong correct me if i'm wrong but i think i believe i have the perfect lip for lip gloss <laughs> but yeah i'm so i was so into this look i'm like i'm feeling this look i'm feeling myself i'm feeling my lip i'm feeling the eyeshadow i'm feeling the skin i'm feeling the liquid illuminator and guys I'll follow me on my instagram for pictures i'm gonna put pictures like real pictures i don't really photoshop my pictures i'm so bad in photoshopping i don't know how to photoshop all i do is because sometimes with all the lighting on your face all the lighting on your face the pictures looks too bright my face looks too bright so all i do is use the instagram features to darken the skin a little bit but follow me on instagram to just check out the beauty pic the beautiful pictures i take and now we are back to this um Ofra cosmetic highlighter. If you guys have been following me for a while, you guys know that a couple of months ago, every video I do was this eye highlighter. Every video I do, I was using this highlighter. For, for one or two reasons, I stopped using it, trying different products. And now we are back to it again. This highlighter is pigment. You have to be very careful when you use this. Like, you guys see that? It is super, super pigment. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm so loving this look. I love the way it turned out. If you guys want to, if you guys want to see me play with this eyeshadow palette once more again, if you guys want to see me play with this eyeshadow palette once more again, leave a comment in the description box. And I hope you all like this makeup look. If you guys do, please give this video a thumbs up, like share this video, like comment, subscribe. And sorry guys, that I couldn't do a talk through video, but I think you guys will love this. This is your girl Amy. Forget not to abonneren. Forget me not to follow on my Instagram channel or my Facebook page. Hope you guys just know me close to seeing. Do you guys see what I'm talking about? Do you guys see what I'm talking about? Do you guys see the lips? Do you guys see the eyes? Do you guys see the glow? Do you guys see the skin? See you guys very soon. This is your girl Amy. Bye.